of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Liz is not here. I'll be the uh, chairman tonight. Um, uh, we're here tonight to talk to uh, Tom Quinlan in regards to uh, the building inspector's position. And I believe at this time we voted to offer you the position. And um, I'm going to leave it open to the board to ask questions as far as anything that they might have on your mind for your duties and, and what you expect and vice versa. Okay. Okay? Now he, uh, hi, Tom. Welcome back. <laughs> it's a circuitous process. <laughs> but you're not certified as what? Building a commissioner? I just want to make sure there's two parts of the job in one year working on your certification, right? Correct. So which one is that? I have one out of the three um, exam taken for inspector. For the inspector. Okay. So how long roughly do you think it'll take before you get that one done and, and get that passed? Uh, I, would, I would hope I. Okay, so within six months, you think? Yes. Okay. Does that exam come often, or is it like every three months? Take as much as you like. Oh, <laughs> oh hopefully once. Right. <laughs> now, do you go out to a special agency to take the exam? In West Springfield. Okay. okay. So you can go in any time you're ready. Right. Yes. Okay. So, as I understand it, we're going to make the offer conditional upon receiving that within a reasonable period of time. Right. And, um, the offer uh, won't be 100% until he gets it because we have to pay for right. a building commissioner to approve his work. Right. So the, the full salary is 50000 if I remember correctly. So what will the difference be, just so Tom knows, so until he gets inspected? Did um, you talk to Joe again about the final number today? Yes. Yes. What I number does he want per week? Right. I actually am um, working with Joe as well, another commissioner, and um, we still came up with some ideas. This is Joe. Joe. So it would be approximately $1,915 minus $140 every two weeks. Okay. And Sound reasonable? Yes. Okay. Out of the, you're going to take one exam, you've got one exam already done. Correct. And you passed it. Yes. You have two more to take. Yes. And what are those? One will be the commercial and then the other is fire and the uh, sprinkler. Okay. So you, you don't have any problem getting both of them in a reasonable like by the end of January? No. Okay. I think state requirements when I spoke with Kim Spencer was that he has, um, by the law, one year to okay. obtain his certificates and then at that point he can always request further um, extensions and they may grant as necessary. So we can't say six months, is that what you're saying? I don't think you can, no. Okay. Do we know that or we just maybe? Based on the law that she sent me, I would say I would go with the year. Okay. And at that point, if it gets to the year, then we can sit with him. But if he thinks six months is more than enough, and we've had other issues oh. with numbers lately, so Soon it's best to give him. Well, the other thing, too, is he'll, until he gets it, he'll be taking that $70 stipend. He'll be, you know, that won't be part of his pay. Right. He has full uh, ability. Well, what, okay, can, just so I'm not clear, what will that allow you not to do if you don't have the inspector certification. I guess putting it backwards. What is the requirements of the oversight for Joe until such well, time? Yeah. Talking with a few other commissioners, Joe, Joe <coughs> would like to be able to sign the final seal on his own. Um, otherwise, I do everything outside. Do all the inspections. Um, you know, he's been out over the past year with me on the, the inspections. So he's comfortable with what I what I approve and come back with. That he doesn't he can go and actually see it during the whole process. If he hasn't, he's not the one. So he'll, he'll, be, he'll be looking at your work in the sense of the final inspection and writing the CO. Correct. And he'll go on the premises for that with you? Um, in the last few months, he actually hasn't even, you know, it, it, there's some cases where I've done, you know, all the inspections and he just, I came back in the office with a card and he issues the um, contract. The concern I would have would be if, if you have something that you have a question on and you're doubtful uh, on something, and you knew, I mean, yes. everybody learns by mistakes, but I'm just saying, if there's something, uh, you're able to go to him and verify that and you can go back in the field with him and look at it. Yes. yes. And, and him as well as I have a great uh, relationship with probably another half a dozen local inspectors and if, if um, they have any question whether you 
Joe's from Greenfield, is that what you said? I'm sorry? Where is Joe from? Yeah. So he's close by yeah. then. Okay. I, I guess my uh, concern, only, what are you talking is that he may be signing off on COs with never stepping foot. Is that the liability for us, right? I would think we want, if we're paying him, I want him to go in and do the job. Well, I would think that you, if you're going to get a CO, you want to make sure things are clutching, things are complete, and stuff yeah. like that. But that's on his, his license, so it's going to come down to his comfort level. Mm -hmm. And so it ends up with taking his thing. And you can't until they depress Tom that he can go and do his job. And Tom screws up. I think what it comes down to is his seal. That, that Joe's putting on If Tom screws up, it's us. Well, it's going to be on his seal as well. But it's still us, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's I mean, are, are you saying, John, that you would rather go with one other candidate? No, no, I'd like to see if Joe I is willing to do this, that he actually do the work, and we pay him to do the work, because we're getting a, the difference in stipend. I, I don't have an issue with... But I think it's $70 a week, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. So then I don't know how much, it, 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 that's going to entice Joe to actually do the work. I, mean, that's I don't know how many CEOs. I mean, most of the work is during the rough inspections and all that, right? Correct. You only, every house that's built is only one CO. Or, do you do a CO on a... Remodeling job? That he allows me to, to sign up on my own. It's just not a, a new home, and, and I don't. I've talked to the other commissioners, and I don't. And, and I don't believe Joe. It's just it's, it's how he feel com feels his feels comfortable. He has the room to sign that. Mm -hmm. uh, in Greenfield, I actually completely sign, you know, for everything. And um, you know, he's a commissioner, and he wishes to do that. And that's how you know, after talking with him, he'd like to continue here. Um, if he had any questions, he would definitely go out on the site. Under, if someone has a license, Joe has a license and there's an issue or there's something that was missed, we have liability that was $3,000 or something on those lines. Correct. And so would the, the burden be more on Joe or on anyone else? I don't want to answer your question. Yeah, we'd have to look into it. You have a three thousand. I think based on the fact that you know Joe has a good reputation in East Hampton, you know he's essentially putting his license on the line to have Tom work under. Most people aren't going to say, "Well, I'll just have you work under me. It's okay." Right. You know they're only going to let you do as much work. It's kind of the same thing with the law and the paralegal. You're yeah, only going to let the paralegal PAs do. All the time. The PAs work right under my yeah. license. I have to feel comfortable with, with the amount the and the amount of supervision you're giving them without asking for more. So I think if he had any concern whatsoever with Tom's supervision, I spoke with him earlier and he didn't. He it said he felt very comfortable. Yeah. That, and I would, I, would, I would agree with that. Joe's comfortable and I'm comfortable. I have a question. How many years have you been in the building trade? Since I was probably 15. <laughs> so. so you have a lot of experience yeah. and knowledge and you've been out there doing the work and you know <coughs> what the job entails, <coughs> the rules and laws and so. That's what you do, right? Yeah. In schools, we all learn every day, though. Right, know? right. Even the commissioners, like, you know, they have to go to the, like, the Honda House in East Hampton was the um, first one build, of course, has ever, you know, worked with. So he actually had the state inspector meet with during our plan review. Yeah. And, um, you know, she had to go ask the other questions as well. You know, it's, it's always a learning experience. So there it is. Every day. Even as a doc, every day. So do you want the job? It's my pleasure. Question I have is, at least for the first couple of COs, I'd like to see you bring Joe into the job and just make sure you're on the right path. Yes. All right? And if it uh, is an issue, I um, want to be informed. Yes. Okay? When I say I, the board. The board. Right. And uh, I'd like to know how your first three or four uh, COs go uh, with him. And then there's a comfort zone there. And uh, I just want it established right. between you and us in the town. So uh, I would feel better mm -hmm. if for the first couple of COs that uh, you bring him out there and um, make sure he's comfortable with your work, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I think the board would be comfortable with that. Just how it goes. And yeah. then keep us informed. Yeah. I mean, like we were saying, it, it's a learning lesson. So if something you're not sure of, just, just ask. I mean, there's nothing wrong with saying, hey, I don't know this one. You're new in the inspector arena, if you will. So we're not expecting you to know everything. Uh, do we have, are we doing a
contract or a letter? We have an offer letter. Any copies we can just spell out all our... You can read it yourself. You can read it out loud. You can read it out loud if you want. We haven't put the numbers in here yet. Or did you? Um, I put partial. Okay. I'll make a motion to have um, this signed. Okay. Well, we'll look at that. You want to tell me what hours you'd like Tom to work? Well, I'd like to hear from Tom what hours he's proposing to work. I actually have a little proposal I've done. Okay. <laughs> Do 26 payrolls a week, or do we do 26 point? I'm sorry. How many payrolls do we do on in a year? I'm not aware. I'm sorry. I I don't know how many payrolls we do in a year. I know it's. I think it's 50. I think it's 26. 52 points. Plus a split payroll. Plus what? A split one. Okay, because this doesn't quite come out to 50,000. It's a little less at 19.50. So I just want. I wrote approximately on my piece. I think. So it's it's 49.790. So 6A, get to know everyone. Do you plan to get uh, your certification in key months by this? Well, that's actually what the state law is. It's 12 months and then you have uh, six months extension. That's why I, I, wait for another I don't need to be changing my rules. I plan on having much more. Well, the onus will be on you because you won't get you won't, you won't get the full pay until you're correct. <laughs> okay, that's good. Two weeks vacation, 10 days. What did we do for the vehicle last, last time? Were we doing mileage? Or just a yeah, a stipend. $200 stipend. I think we were doing a stipend monthly. It was about, you know, you know, touching back and forth there. I don't know if we made it with the stipend. But at one point it was per mile. I think the stipend we had agreed to, or the board had agreed to once upon a time with Rich was, I'd have to double check and look it up, but I believe it was $200 a month. Mm -hmm. Which was it for? $200 a month. Uh, Rich came to us on our finance committee and he was giving more, but he said, hey, I just, I'll go for $200 a month, make it easy on everybody, and we accepted it. So, that's how that came about. So you think that's the current figure right now? Well, two hundred dollars it is, yeah. That's what was budgeted again. And I don't know if you do the actual mileage if that's high or low. No, well, it's it's a lot higher. Two hundred dollars is a lot higher? No, two hundred dollars. I mean if you do the mile the federal a federally approved mileage per month, it's gonna be higher. Now mileage, let's let's talk about that just so so Tom's clear. Uh, mileage is from where? You live in you live in Hadley. Right. So we're not going to pay you from Hadley no, until he comes oh, okay. in a building, uh, the building out. Okay. So if you have to come, unless he's called in for emergency, right? But if he's doing an inspection and he happens to be coming in from home, it's from here out. I agree okay. with you. Correct. Just want to, you know, we don't want to put you in the middle of something, Tom, and have you say I, that's not what I understood. Now, how many hours did Rich work, or how many hours is this? Thirty. Okay. So this comes out to I think thirty-three. Tom, is that what you're proposing here? It was just an idea. Yeah. Well, you can work longer if you want. Correct. It's totally up to you. But um, I'm looking I at, uh, uh, you know, I think the approval was uh, 30 hours a week. Right. Okay. I don't think we provided this for the phone. Yes, we did. We did? Yes. We did. He got one of the five phones of the highway department. He paid um, one or two months a year to offset. Okay. Out of his expenses. What's, what's the average staff member working in town hall? 30, if they do night hours, it's 31 hours a week because one night every two weeks it's um, the additional two hours, so they put that two hours into each week. 
So one week it's 32, one week it's 30, so it comes out to 31. Okay. So can we agree that these are the hours that you're proposing and that we're going to go along with just so we can post them and be done with it and make it official? That makes sense, 1A and B. Again, Tom's not familiar with the, the town you're politics. You're taking an hour off for lunch, right? You're working right through. Either way, I mean, it's, it's as far as like the inspections, it, it, um, I'm willing to speak with you something later on. You know, that was just a, that wasn't a set hour. I just figured it's, you know, it's the same as somebody did something on a Saturday. You know, it would be. Well, I mean, these hours, like Monday through Thursday, being in there from 6.30 to 10.30, I think Rich, you know, um, a lot of his business was done between seven and nine, I think, for the most part. And what time does the secretary come in there? Well, right now, what we've talked about in the past was um, Jean is no longer in that office. She's now in the treasurer's office. So we don't have a continual coverage from a secretary right now. We just have Kevin filling in as needed. Okay. We have a sign posted on the door, which seems to be working out fine. What um, is the time that he's there now? I pretty much whenever he needs to be in the day. So he doesn't have any set time. But over time. But if somebody came into town hall and he was working in your office, he's still able to be yeah, looking for a minute absolutely. to answer questions? Absolutely. There's a sign right on the building department door. It says, if you have questions, please see the town administrator's office. I just think that uh, Tom, going to 1030 is going to tie your hands with get out and getting out in the field. I think more like 630 to 930 might be more okay, advantageous. Sure. And then put the time in the field. Okay. whether it's for enforcement or um, your inspection. Some weeks are going to be higher than the other, and Correct. you're just going to have to balance it. Um, you understand what I'm saying, Jen? Everybody? Um, you're going to have to find the phone, wherever it is, unless you still have it or Rich has it. Um, I think we know where the phone is. I think it's in Rich's hands. Okay. The only concern that came back from uh, Randall's and a couple times was when we had Paul and even I think right now with Rich, the calls have been a higher number. Okay. So we need to, I think Tom and I have already talked about working on different ways to mitigate the cost of that. So again, you know, whether it's calling in and checking the voicemails more, just trying to prompt people to actually use the physical voicemail there and assure them that we will well, get we, back to we them. We got that about four years ago and it worked all right. I mean, I mean I, when I was there, I monitored the, the bills, but you know, uh, if people have certain features that they add to their phone, it's definitely going to add them up, such as, you know. Well, I think these are still our basic blip um, 19. Because when I went in, it was phones. only like 9.99, and if they wanted some apps to go in there, they had to pay their own apps. No, but right now they're costing on average about $20 per phone per month. So we're actually looking at seeing if we can find a different plan of some sort. So even if, I don't know if we'd be eligible for something like, you know, the Verizon well, family be. plan where we have one and then 12 other ones. Well, that's what that plan is. It's a family plan and it was cheaper than a, a business phone and it was more so for emergencies and contacts. I would think, I mean, you can tell me, I, I don't think Rich was really computer literate, right? I, don't, I think he, he was on it a lot. Was it? I was going to say, do you use a smartphone now? I don't have a smartphone. Commissioner Hicks in Greenfield because they use it quite a bit. They say, I've been staying there yet, and he was going to yeah. go from one for me because a lot of people do use it. Yeah. I would think a smartphone would make sense for him with the calendar and, and all that. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. going to be on the go. And do you use computer now in your job? I mean, I'm in the field or anything? Yes. Well, um, East Hampton is just getting, is going to be getting a new program. <coughs> but Greenfield, at the end of the year, most of them have gotten the tablets. Yep. Well, iPads, though, you know, six hundred dollars. I mean, I, I, we have a lot of people, and I use it myself at, at work, where people that are out on in the field can really use them for planning. I, don't, I mean, for the sake of six hundred dollars or so, I would think it would be good to to equip you. I mean, that's it my that's right. my well. Opinion, the yeah. way the way the plan goes, you pay for the service. You have to buy your own phone. So your phone? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can have them. You can buy the phone through them, and then it comes on your bill every month. Yeah. Who, what service do we have? That one there is um, AT&T Singular. <coughs> you can, you can go out and buy a Go phone, AT&T Go phone, smartphone for 100 bucks, put mm -hmm. your SIM card in. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave that part up to Tom. Okay. She'll find the phone for you and get that straightened out. Okay. 
Okay. I think we want to equip you, so, you know, so he said So, I mean, as far as the hours worked, I'm, I'm just recommending that he go from 6.30 to 9.30 and spend the rest of the time in the field. Uh, <clears throat> um, some of the other things that he's going to need to work with is with Heather, as far as new schedules are concerned for uh, eva uh, uh, building permit fees and other department fees that are associated to the building department. Certification, it says 18 months here, but like he explained, it's a year plus six months. Um, uh, he needs the additional six months he's got to ask for. Uh, the salary will be $50,000 once he gets his commissioner's license, okay? Till then, he'll get um, the salary minus what we have to pay for a commissioner to uh, approve his work. Yes. And the, the next thing here is number nine, vacation. Does it have any problems with two weeks? Well, the only issue is that we go, right now we're operating by the personal policy bylaws for okay. everyone who's a non contractual employee, non-union employee, are, and based on that, you get that. nothing the first year is the problem. First year or up in July? Yes. Okay. I mean, they're in the process of modifying them, and hopefully they'll be modified soon. But, yeah, what she's saying is it's true, and you have to be here a year before you get vacation. But he starts accruing from day one, is that correct? No, not as it's currently written. No. They don't play the accrual piece. The only thing so they do is they do... The reason we've been running into problems is you don't get your vacation the first year, you take a year two, so whatever you earned in year one, you serve year two. So if you yeah. leave end of year two, you, you get, get vacation that. to take with okay, you. So you are accruing it, you just can't use it to, to the next fiscal year. Or is it fiscal year or is it your anniversary It's year? fiscal. Okay, so you are accruing. To a certain extent. Yeah. Not the way most would do it, which is after 60, 90 days, you've got one day and you yeah. earn so many days per month. Now, okay, so he's coming in November 1st, is that right? And our fiscal year starts July 1. So as of July 1, will he have two weeks or will, we, will he have a prorated amount? So if he starts in November. I there are some prorated. I there are that. some. He should, I believe he would get the full. So to my best of my knowledge, we can take another look at it. Well, I have copied personnel. If, if I re remember that, if he worked six months in the system before it came to July 1, that six months would be prorated, he might get three and a half days or something like that, whatever the prorate, there's a schedule there for that. Mm -hmm. But that would kick in the next year. And then the following year, he would be entitled to a full year. But yeah. see, the second year, you get two weeks right up to that. But that's how it's currently written. We are in the process of changing, including increasing the amount of vacation time and things. But right now, we've got to go, anything that changes, everybody gets the brunt of that. But I just want to make sure he's aware. Well, so I think what we'd have to do for this is, especially for the vacation for November through December, it would have to be unpaid vacation. And then as far as the other thing goes, I mean, if he wants to come back and revisit it with the board the first of the year, <laughs> if well, the PPB has The point is he's not a contact employee, so he has to fall into policy procedures, mm -hmm. okay. okay? And she brought up a good point. If you do want to take some time out, you got to clarify with this board. And it'll be without pay that first uh, six months to five months. And um, so I think he's already asking for November 28th to December 7th. He may go with that mm -hmm. for the board knowledge. Uh, what do we do for coverage then? Will Rich cover? Well, if his building commissioner is approved, is overseeing him, Joe, Joe would be the one to cover. Oh, and Joe's okay with that? Covering while you're on the Sure, he would be because he'd get more money than the $70. We would then go back to our $35 per inspection if he had to do anything. Okay. We should just and verify that with Joe, too. I mean, uh, being a new employee, not knowing this, I, I want to make sure you know everything you're right. getting and you don't get, because, you know, it, it's tough sometimes. Right, right. <coughs> well, you have one expense here. I mean, I don't know what the board feels about. You're looking for 240 a month. Right now we're at 200 okay. I don't think with the Financial Times we can jump to... 240 right now, okay. but uh, next budget process it might be um, something to consider. But I'm just speaking for the board. I don't think we're going to go over 200. Yeah, uh, that's what's in the budget. I'm just. Do we want to go on actual and see what that is, or uh, I think actual is going to be a lot more because we already went through <coughs> that. If I'm not mistaken. 
because well, I'm asking you what did that when you were there? When, when he was doing it, but uh, Rich was taking it from home and all that too, and, and Tom won't because Tom lives in Hadley. He's got to take it from here. You want to you want to see how it works? <coughs> I, I don't know. What do you have a preference on? Two hundred a month, or to see how it works? To make it more, make it less. <laughs> I, mean, I just moved this before. I asked the other commissioners of the you know, contract yeah. in Hampton. Um, the Greenfield, we have two vehicles. Yeah. I just didn't go by that. But um, Amherst and a few other commissioners, you know, how they did it, there wasn't a car available. And you know, <laughs> the majority of them started at, at E40, and that's the only reason I went with it. Well, I, 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 if it's, if it's fine. I, I think for the for the year we, we budgeted roughly yeah. 200. If that's what Rich was getting. I think the budget already said I would stick to 200. We can address this, you know, if, if Tom, if you want to sort of keep a, a tally of your model, just do it for your own. I think what is the federal rate? 53 cents? 56. <coughs> 56. Up monthly, it? No, 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 no. 56.5 or 56? It may come down. Prices will come down. But, but you know, just we'll be addressing um, the budgetary season, which then start in a couple months anyways for next year's budget. Okay. Have you put a budget together before? No. Um, you have another item down here. Uh, the phone, uh, Heather will help help you get that organized and straightened out. Um, and if we could use the same phone, most of the contractors have that number. Okay. That would be helpful. Uh, yeah, we can always point the number. Thank you. Uh, the next thing is you got classes that continue at five hundred dollars a year. Um, a lot of these classes that I knew Rich went to and stuff like that were put on by the Commonwealth, and there's the entrance fees. And some you're required to be at, some you're, you're not. You just have to um, use good judgment what, what ones you should be going to. Um, um, but the $500 per year, <coughs> if it's in your budget, if it's there, fine. If it's not in your budget, don't overspend it. Okay. We're telling all department heads to stay within their means. And um, I don't know if there was any money. You'll have to look into we it. We can take a look at it, but just approximately, I think there was 4000 in the expenses. Uh, 2,400 would go to the gas, so that would leave you with approximately $1,600. Subtract 500, leave you with 1,100 for other expenses. I know some expense line items have been taken out of your budget so far for small things and ink and the like. I don't know what that comes to, but we can look at past years and see where we're at. The other thing I'd recommend is waiting until February once we resolve the, get the finances in order for those three, your all of your three accounts that you have, right. so that. Uh, all the numbers are coming out of the right spot. And that might give you a better idea. Okay. Does anybody else have any other questions? I think I think it'd be good for Tom to sit down with Heather at some point to really go over your budget and, and show where your expenses are. Those three lines. That's just so you know, so we can help plan and, and, and understand where the costs are going. Do you have any questions for us, Tom? Um, I pretty sure we I think we answered them all. Like, that's why I, I presented this. I didn't want to offend anybody. It's, as far as like the uh, what I budget would allow to, to change the permits and things to help. In the long run, I'd say just filing it makes it easier for everybody. Um, We're going to have you work with Heather on that. Okay. okay. And Heather's pretty good about uh, keeping us informed. The other thing, too, is we're all very easy to get a hold of. Uh, get a hold of us if you got any questions. You, you, if you want to um, have issues or you have questions, feel free to call us. Okay. If Heather can't help you, I'm sure we can. Um, but with that being said, um, I'm just going to rehash all this. Your salary will be what's been budgeted $50,000 minus the uh, building inspector's uh, fee, and that will be reinstated uh, once you get your full license. Okay. Um, the hours we went over, I don't know if there are any questions on that. The mileage is $200 a month, and Heather will work with you on how you're supposed to get your bills in. Okay, and um, your start date is the 27th of October. Is that when you want to start it? Just open whatever way. Or November 1st. Do you think? The sooner the, the less damage on the expense account. Board, yeah. when do you want to start? November 27th is fine. That sounds good. Yeah, but you're going to be on vacation. It would be the following month. It would be the uh, 28th of oh, that's so that's November. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Um, it's already it's all planned. In Does it seem possible that we should have Rich at least be with him for a couple of days? Whatever floats the board. What's that? Whatever floats the board. 
Well, I think I, some I like of it. the are on the body today. Right, and we should be talking about what he's doing, whereabouts he is, and stuff like that. So, um, Heather, you can work out the details, but uh, I'd like to see Rich you know, break in uh, for a few days, and once you feel comfortable, um, um, let Heather know, or she'll check with you. Okay. Okay? But um, that's something that uh, I think we'd like to see happen. Uh, based on that, uh, if you're agreeable with that, uh, we have a contract here, or not a contract, uh, a letter of understanding. That's a resolution for the common uh, gas chatter. And, uh, <laughs> okay. and uh, I'd like to have you go over that and um, sign that. Oh, and uh, Ed, there's a couple problems with it. Uh, one problem I can figure out. Go ahead. It's, it's just details, but it's going to bite us. Yeah, 50,000 annually, like I said before, it doesn't come out to 1915. It comes out to 40, did, I write, did I write approximately? I think no, I wrote a lot. Potential salary for the, but Ed's saying we're offering a 50,000, which I'm fine with, but those numbers are wrong. If you, so, yeah. And we got, and there's a lot of blanks in here. Because I didn't know what the. Well, right, so he can't sign it. Well, let's take a handshake right now, how's that? And then, and then okay. you'll, you'll go with Heather and you'll sign this after she straightens sure. this out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got one more question. Does that require us to sign that? I'll just have you sign it afterwards. Okay. Right, one more question. Go ahead, Jeff. What What is your involvement going to be with your current jobs once you take this job? Are you still going to work for the other towns in a part time capacity? Or? I, I don't see um, how we would be able to do a living field, but you know, as far as these camps and if I could, uh, you know, these inspections, you know, that I don't set up to do the city canals, but or you know, try it for a little bit. Um, I guess our, our, at least my concern is we're the number one you know, position. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. As, as, yeah. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And, and, and the, the only one. No one understands that he, you know, he said we can try I, it. Okay. My comment on that is they're mm -hmm. close. You have to make sure there's a complete separation. Correct. Because there's no one double dipping or anything at the right. same time. They're completely separate, and you keep them that way, and I think uh, everybody will be fine. Okay. Okay, but uh, your hours are here, you know. Other than a meeting or uh, talking to the commissioner over in East Hampton, um, we don't want to see you over there unless you know you've done right. right. Okay. And the reason we're asking is because we want you to be successful here. There, politics. You know, we want to make sure you know you don't step on something wrong. So ask us a question, and if you have any answers or questions. So. Any other questions? No, I think that. Again, I would apologize. For We have um, consent to sign for change of control at Cam Camcast. Um, since we had this hearing, Heather, we have any meetings, uh, or not meetings, but we have any uh, correspondence to the We have not received any correspondence to the office pertaining to this matter. Now, how many days ago was that? <coughs> uh, the meeting we had on this was... Uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, it was two weeks ago. It was more than two weeks ago. Even. Last week was a regular meeting. The meeting before that was the meeting for the public regarding the building commissioner position. It was, I believe, the meeting before that. I just wanted to make sure that there was no number of days that we were required to hold us out for no, comments. We weren't I mean, required okay. by law to do any of that. I have this, uh, based on the hearing, the consent to assign and change the controls, I have a document to be signed by, it has to be attested by the town clerk and chairman of the board or whoever's acting. Well, if the board votes to approve it, someone can come to sign okay. it before. What is your proposal? Do you want to sign this tonight? Make a motion to approve and sign. Second. Uh, just uh, for discussion here. So we really don't have any say in it because they're financially able to do the it. The so. thing we have is we have a contract with Charter and they were they have to follow Charter's contract. Right. 
chart is not great to begin with, so no. it's not going to be. But no, what you're saying, John, financially, managerial, legally, right. and technically. Unless we can prove otherwise, which we can't. We we have to go. Yeah. And even if you said no, they would still have the right to appeal. Right. So with that in mind, uh, why delay it? I have no problem with that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we have some business tonight to sign? No, that's it. We'll take care of the... Is that orange? It's orange. <laughs> Make a motion to buy some things. <laughs> Second. Second. Those in favor? Hold it. We got... Um, oh, nope. Two bills here. No, we can do those next week because they're not on the agenda. Okay. There you go. Second. Motion to adjourn. Do have a second? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. I know it's after the meeting. Can we make a motion to have meetings this short all the time? <laughs> 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 yeah, really. Uh, last, last week was one of the good ones. <laughs>